So we've got an under 15 uh, carnival for the academies in Coffs Harbour. Uh, last year we had an under 14s carnival, so it's following the same age through. Uh, a lot of the same boys, we have had some additions. Last year we only brought five down from North Queensland, this year we've got nine. It's uh, a really good trip for the boys. Um, it's. Uh, I know it's not an AFL club or a, a, you know, on a list, but it, it does represent um, an AFL camp or uh, when teams go away for weekends. It's pretty much all about footy. We review, we recover, we play games. So it's three and three days. Uh, the boys um, get a lot out of it, I think, and it's an opportunity for them to show a really high level of professionalism, even at under 15 level. Clearly the academy is a really important strategy for us. And, uh, and sort of from 14s and 15s and 16s and on, so uh, we get to uh, we get to most uh, opportunity to see them play. I mean, clearly we're always going to compare ourselves with the Brisbane Lions Academy, and they're working very hard at it, as are we. And also, it's good to see uh, GWS here with big numbers, and they've got a really sort of traditional football market as part of their uh, zone. So they've got some good players too. It's, it's all looking good. Yeah, look, I think there really is some really good potential coming through our academy um, over the next few years. It's not something that, um, uh, that we've sort of seen a lot of before in, in AFL football. I mean, it's common in other sports like, uh, you know, EPL football and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, look, it's, given that we don't have father-sons for some time, I think it provides us with a really good opportunity.